We are absolutely thrilled with our new podcast, The Current Conversations Podcast. Um, We've been working on it for about a year and it's been met with some great success. We have a team of uh, individuals from our, our department and we take turns interviewing different community stakeholders, uh, county partners, and county department heads um, on a variety of different topics. The main reason we wanted to do the podcast was we wanted to come up with a new and innovative way to get vetted, accurate information out. And again, it's it's been different. It's uh, pushed us out of our comfort zone a little bit, but I think that we have had tremendous success and, and we're really having a fun time while we're doing it. Wow, well, we've done a variety of topics. Um, We have interviewed department heads about specific topics related to their department, uh, faith-based or other community stakeholders to talk about their programs or or issues that they're addressing. Um, There was one podcast where we interviewed our sheriff and he talked to us um, a lot about, you know, obviously being the sheriff of our locality, but about finding um, finding deputies and finding staff. He talked about national challenges and issues, local issues. He talked about his life and how he wound up going into um, this career of serving, uh, serving the public. And, and that was a really, really interesting one. Broadband, um, our community is undergoing a huge broadband expansion. And so we brought on the wireless internet service provider, the new one, the new one to our community and talked about broadband, talked about technical stuff, uh, about what equipment goes in your house and what, what transpires when you turn on the internet in your home to what the pricing is going to be and, and all of the grants and partnerships that went into making this accessible for our community. Does housing the unhoused and talking about our homeless population in the community and have brought on community leaders such as our um, our board chair to talk about the budget process and what it's going to look like you know for the following year and our uh, superintendent of schools to talk about you know during in the middle of the pandemic to talk about challenges that they were facing and how they continue to educate our, our students. You know, we there's been a variety of uh, topics covered and I think we've had a lot of success in that there are varied and um, there's a little bit of something for everybody. Well, <laughs> you know, we're new here, right? We've been here about a year. Um, I think that we will probably up the amount that we're doing it. I think we're getting faster on editing. We're getting a little bit tighter as a team, picking topics. Um, And so I would like to see us grow the amount of uh, episodes. Right now we're putting out about one a month and it's a lot of work, but we're getting faster. And I think that that's that's definitely one of our goals um, is to have more topics and to have it more frequently. One of my favorite aspects of the podcast is how, you know, in local government, there's some departments that are just more public facing. Parks, Rec, and Tourism, you know, your, your children are playing on their soccer team and you're attending their yoga classes. There's the library. You're going in with your family. You're running and checking out books. You're going to their programs. These are incredible pillars of our local community. But we also have departments that work tirelessly that you may not even know that they're doing what they're doing. GIS, facilities management that keep, you know, keep our community and our campus looking so amazing. Engineering, constantly working behind the scenes to make sure that these projects are safe. They're all important. And this has given us a new avenue to shine light on some of these, these, you know, departments that do incredibly important work as well, but maybe aren't as public facing. So I think, you know, our our future is bright and we look forward to more podcasts, a variety of topics. And, you know, one thing that's really important is that we we take input when we are putting these together. We are constantly um, polling our community on social media, asking people, what do you want to, what do you want us to cover? What's important to you? What topics are, are pressing in your life? And we've had individuals reach out after a podcast and say, wow, that's really great. How can I get more information? So it's a two-way street. You know, we're, we're constantly looking for more information to put out, but we're also constantly asking for citizens and departments and uh, community stakeholders to let us know what they want to hear. So again, the future's bright, but we think that we're doing a great job and we're looking forward to another many years of the Current Conversations podcast.